Hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather and welcome back to our channel. On today's episode of the YouTube Pagan Challenge, the question is, do you create your own correspondences? And the answer is yes. I usually do create my own correspondences. Um, not saying that I don't use like other correspondences at all, but I usually tend to make my own. And that's because I feel like whatever resonates with you best is what you should use, if that makes sense. So like even if you have like you know, your zodiac sign is a fire sign, but you resonate with water, then you should go with water. Like, that's just kind of how I feel. Um, but me personally, with my correspondences, um, probably the most common one that I really kind of talk about is that my seasonal correspondences and my directional correspondences aren't really traditional. Um, like, I'm pretty sure the traditional um, correspondences is um, east for air, uh, north for earth, west for water and south for fire but for me north is going to be air because it's above us is kind of how it makes sense to me south is going to be earth because it's below us and it makes sense to me and then east would be fire and west would be water um, however seasonal correspondences i believe that spring is earth summer's fire autumn is water and winter is air but for me it's pretty much the same except autumn and winter are swapped so Autumn is autumn is air and winter is water, um, and it just works better for me that way. One second, my cat was licking the scrub brush on the uh, what's it called? The grill? Yeah, it's a grill. She was licking the metal scrub brush to clean it. Ew, gross, Keisha, you're gross. So gross. So when it comes to correspondences. When you're a beginner witch, I really feel like it's easier to look at a book and use the correspondences for what what's in the book, basically, or go online, find something, use something like that. Um, when I first started out, I was I did that, and it worked well for me. Um, however, nowadays, I really don't. I really just don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm weird, but I just don't. Um, there's lots of dogs where I live. <laughs> But I just, I'm not, I'm not a fan, so I really do prefer creating my own correspondences because I feel like when we create a correspondence, we're essentially making a connection with something and creating a connection with something and really establishing that. And so say, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure Ivy, which is like pretty much all around me, um, I'm pretty sure Ivy is like a correspondence to protection. It's a very protective plant. Um, however, for me, Ivy really reminds me of fairies. Um, I don't know if it has like a connection with fairies already, but for me personally, like that's a correspondence for me that I kind of created um, in my personal practice. If it already does, you know, work with fairies, cool, that's awesome. But if it if it doesn't, you know, I, I really don't know. I just know that ivy reminds me of fairies. Um, another one is that like uh, bones and teeth. I feel like are correspondent with the element of fire um, because that's basic like our bones is what makes our life force and I feel like our life force is like our inner fire in a way um, though I'm sure some could argue that bones and teeth would be earth because that's what's gonna remain once we pass on or it could be you know related to water because our bones make blood which is a liquid um, which is like basically the life-giving water inside of our body um, in a way, I guess, or it could be related to air if you have bones from a bird, you know what I mean? So it's really up to you, like, what works best, because when you have a certain type of correspondence that you like, um, that works well for you, be it you created or not. Oh my goodness, Keisha. <laughs> I don't know if you saw her, but she just, like, jumped. She, she's attacking something. Oh man, can you see her? I don't think you can see her. There she is. She's stalking something. But anyway, um, yeah, it just it works better for me when I make my own correspondences anyway. Um, this was an interesting question for the YouTube Pagan Challenge, I must say, because um, I feel like correspondences is not something talked about, like you creating your own. Um, or at least I haven't seen many videos or content on that anyway. And um, I really do like it because I really do create my own correspondences. And I feel like when you create your own correspondences, then it adds another touch of magic to it because you're putting your intention, um, your belief, your your energy into whatever you're making and your ideas and your your basically your signature, if that makes sense, into what you're doing when you create your own correspondences. And it kind of just like represents your practice. 
And so, I don't know, I just, I really liked this topic this week. Really short video though, so I hope it's not, not too big of a deal, but can you guys see Keisha? I don't know if you can see Keisha, but she's, she's chilling back there. I don't know what she attacked, but she attacked something. I don't know, maybe we'll go investigate, but yeah. So yeah, it was a really quick video today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know. And um, like the video if you like dog, dog barking in the background because we all love dog barking in the background. So yeah, but until next time, stay geeky cheeky and freaky little hatchlings. Blessed be and bye. Hey hatchlings, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment telling me why, and subscribe to see what I'll post next. If you love my content, please become a sponsor over at Patreon. It helps keep the channel going so I can post awesome videos for you guys. All the links will be down below. But until next time, stay geeky, cheeky, and freaky little hatchlings. Blessed be and peace!